Hi to everyone and welcome. If you want to build your own landing page or website, it is much more faster to make that happen with a, with a using of platform that allows you to build websites or landing pages. That's why in this video, I want to provide you with all information that you need to build your first or maybe not first landing page or website really fast, easy, without an extra efforts and without needs to learn coding or web design or some else knowledges that you may probably need to uh, build your own page. So a lot of people think that this is difficult issue, but it's not. And that's what I want to show you. Uh, I want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get that link and get access to this platform straight from this video. So not waste time, you can pause this video and press that link so we can be at the same page uh, as it says. So uh, one more thing, I don't want to make this video like one hour long tutorial. So uh, everything is pretty simple. Everything is pretty easy. So let's jump straight to business and let's go inside of the platform. That how it looks, you need to press create new landing page or site if you're building a big website. But today we're going to talk about the landing pages and uh, you'll get the page where you have a lot of different templates of uh, landing pages already pre-built. And here in this spot, you need to be as specific as possible to find the correct template and it will save you a lot of time of editing. Uh, so page type, you can sort it by the page type, you can sort it by industry. And uh, if you didn't found your own, you can customize literally any page that uh, catches your eye. Uh, and that's actually what we're gonna do here. I want to show you uh, any template because all the editing features are pretty the same. And that's why we are gonna understand how it's done. And in the end of this video, you'll get an idea of how to build it by yourself. First, you need to give your page a name and it doesn't matter for the moment. Just uh, we can change it later. But this information will be precious in uh, in your project because this is the name of your website and maybe this is the name of your brand. Uh, so take care about about everything uh, there. And what do we have here? This is an editor, actually. This is the name page name and URL. So you need to check it like you need to type here your brand name. Uh, lead matter. This is fantastic widget that shows how your uh, page will convert. So you need to make sure that everything is uh, excellent. If something went wrong, you'll see that is not excellent. Maybe it's good or, or not so good and so on. Uh, redo and do buttons preview mode to see to check how your page displayed on different types of devices. Now that's also a very useful tool because uh, nowadays uh, every every single page that you can build in this platform is absolutely mobile responsive and everything will be displayed like properly. But you just need to check it before you go live. Let's go to layout. I will introduce you all the buttons here. Uh, layout. We see that there's a body and footer and everything is built with the sections actually here. So you can add a section straight from this spot or you can use this button. We have a list of the sections call to action. And we drag and drop it. Hero maybe or what do we need logos drag and drop it here. Okay, and if you didn't found the correct template of a section, you can use the blank one. Uh, and you see that there are a lot of a lot of options, actually. Yeah, maybe we need some, uh, some pictures here. Dropping it here. Okay, that's it. I showed you that. So now we have the weird layout actually, and we have some things that we don't need actually. So let's go to layout back. And now we see body the footer that is not on the spot and we grabbing it and dropping it on the bottom. Blank one logos call to action about one. Uh, like I want to delete this section, I can delete it from this spot, or I can delete it from this spot. Delete. All right. Now we have some uh, some layout. 
and you see that there are different types of uh, of sections yeah you saw though you saw that in here in this list so you can use any of those or you can use the blank template and you see everything is happening with the widgets now we have the background here is white and here the background is some kind of weird color and we didn't choose that color so let's check it when you press the three dots button in uh, each uh, in each section separately you can add it each section separately from uh, from entire page we see that there's no background color that means that probably it's lays in styles and it's a page background yeah you see there's a color i'm gonna switch it off and here you go everything is white let's add some widgets because that how magic happens so for example here i need uh i need tax to be i want a couple images image image plus text video and button that's pretty easy and you see those uh, those divider lines those lines uh shows that you have four columns here and you can move things around to the order that you want that can be like that like that or we can delete some elements that we don't want and let's go to uh let's go to this layout to show you what's happening actually you see the blank section style row one and row two here in row two we have columns and we don't need this column we can delete this column and here you go this is how you reorder the uh, the columns actually we don't need a video of this uh or or some else elements so you can handle it here in layout and that how it works actually uh so we have the background we don't have the background let's uh let's go to styles page background and let's add an image let it be i don't know this one just to show you that uh, what can you do with that and what will happen you see this parallax effect and the picture stays there when you're scrolling all your page so the picture is still there uh for example we have this section uh this section is pretty small so we go into edit the section settings and you see minimum height yeah it's bigger right now you see you have this parallax effect and it lays here in styles so if you apply some color maybe i want this okay it's pretty similar to the previous color let it be like that and you see now we have the uh, page that is in one style and uh, it's like long and it's covered with a color so we don't need those uh, those blocks we don't need those sections we're going to delete them I'm just showing you how it's easy to edit everything here. Uh, what's happening with the text? Because everything, actually, let's go to widgets, and I'm going to show you when we're going to press show less. Those eight is pretty enough to build everything that you want. It's really pretty enough. So any landing page or website contains text, images, videos, uh, like some kind of paragraphs of the text, yeah? and interactive elements like buttons and forms and this is very important and i'm going to show you why because uh, the main purpose of any landing page is to show your business to describe it uh, and to get the contact information from your client to make that uh, people who will visit your site make some specific action like get the free plan like in this case uh okay one more thing that i wanted to show uh, i showed you this divider lines yeah and you see that there's some kind of elements here and you can move this around to get the shape that you want so everything is like uh, built with the blocks with the sections and uh, everything can be edited in the order that you want this is pretty great layout uh, just what can you do with the text i didn't mention that just double click on it and you have all the things that you can make it's like 
headline one or jumbo can be bigger a little more spacing uh want to change the font uh want to change the color of it and so on like you can you can play around with all those tools uh in the order that you want to resize things to get the shape that you want for example you want this video to be uh to be big uh or you even don't need this this spot here you see everything is uh, like pretty pretty great if you need the button to be in the center just grabbing a space or dropping it in here and moving it around that's it that's pretty it all the editing features happen happening with this pencil button and you can find it in each element so let's go back to buttons uh, and forms actually so you need to add the click event if the click event is not didn't set up um, you need to add this and you'll see this uh, inactive button red box no link option so in most cases it's going to be the pop-up uh, and you can create a new pop-up or you can select the pop-up that is pre-built in this form yeah and you can edit the pop-up and this is uh like pay attention in this in this spot because this is very important because that's how you interact with your visitors you need them to press the button you need them to uh complete the form uh, and and this is the form actually let's edit integrations and we jump into uh, editing the integrations integrations uh this, though how you how you gonna get new leads yeah and where you will get information about new leads now, it will drop to your email in this case or you can add an external service uh, integrations like with crm uh like email marketing tools uh, impressive list of it like MailChimp, GetResponse, Constant Contact, ConvertKit, Active Campaign. All those are uh, pretty useful and really powerful tools. Some of them has uh, free plans. Some of them you need to pay from the start, from the ground. Uh, just make sure that you need them. You need those, but you can integrate it to your service, and all the new leads will drop to your. Uh, MailChimp account and uh, that's how you grow your email list uh, or if if you have not a lot of uh, orders not a lot of new leads uh, you can integrate everything with the Zapier and for example Google Sheets is great option to uh, to drop all your all your new leads there it's up to you it's up to your business but I'm showing you the opportunities fields you see it's just an email enter your email address to get your free workout plan so i want to know what's the first name of the human being that will complete this form i can move this around and uh, please do not add more than two fields i'm gonna show you why you see i uh, i made this action and straight away the lead matter shows that it's not so good why because people are lazy in general and they don't want to complete all those fields in this form uh, when it's more than two yeah so when we're going to delete this phone number uh, from here you see that lead matter shows that it's excellent so it's not a problem to fulfill like first name and email uh, but there are a lot of interesting things like postal code state street address city comment i don't want to complete those so we're gonna go forward what's gonna happen when somebody will complete the form and will press that button like send me uh like free workout plan we promise to send free workout plan in this case so you can add a lead magnet you can add this physical um file like pdf straight here or you have a couple of options landing page you can build external landing page to say thank you in all your brand colors in all your um uh, styles and uh, in all your needs you can build a separate page or it can be default lead pages thank you page or it can be external url for example uh, you have a sales funnel and uh, you send the workout plan and and people uh, who uh, who fulfill who completed the form will jump will be redirected to some uh, offer maybe the page with an offer that you got the free workout plan but 
uh, join us for one dollar per month. I don't know. It's the internet marketing. I'm just highlighting the ideas, yeah, uh, and showing you the options that you can uh, that you can get here. So that's pretty it about the buttons and about the forms. And you see, we have a picture, the great picture actually. As for me, this is a great layout. Of course, uh, we need to check all the fonts here like poppins let's change it to poppins also and we're gonna get uh we're gonna get like beautiful beautiful page uh in one style it's gonna be in one style it's gonna be like pretty pretty well done and you see that everything is is in one style yeah cool fast and easy I showed you the layout, I showed you the sections, I showed you the widgets, I showed you the styles with this background color. Uh, also, you can change font styles to see the headline fonts are pop-ins, and you can change the font straight from here for entire page uh, for all the headlines. For all the tags, you can also switch the font straight from this page. Uh, page width, it's wide, there are options like small medium or large uh, favicon is a small uh small icon in the search bar and so on a uh, couple words about settings and that's it and we're done seo definitely you need to be visible to search engine machines if not switch this flag on i don't want search engines to index this page uh, but in case you want you need to use all those keywords description and so on if you need to share a link to your uh, landing page to some Facebook or Pinterest or some else place, make sure that you uploaded the picture here. Uh, in this spot, you can add Google Analytics tracking ID uh, and Facebook pixel and so on. And language, you can choose the language of your page from this available ones. That's pretty it, guys. We build, uh, we build a page uh, with a simple layout we can change all the things here like if you're gonna go to edit section settings you see that there's an image uh, and you can upload your own image you can use images that you uh, uploaded already for previous uh, for your previous maybe works uh, or you can buy uh, images straight from Shutterstock uh, straight from the platform that's pretty it you see it's easy really fast and after you're done you need to press publish and f follow uh follow the next steps uh, with all those stuff that's pretty it guys thank you so much that watched that video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you consider this video as useful really so don't forget that all the useful links are under this video in the description panel be our guest use those links and uh, start building your own landing page for website see you in the next video Bye bye